thousand years ago, in the battlefield of Purushetra, he spoke the great Bhagavad Gita. Most of you have heard the name. remind you that you are all humans, all living entities, not only human beings, but also other than human beings, the animals, the trees, the birds, the aquatics, anywhere you find living force that is a part and parcel of God. God is also a living being, but as it is described in the Vedas, the chief living being. It is said in the Kathopanisha, nitya nityana chetana chetanana. God is one of the living beings, like us. But the difference between God and ourselves is this. Ekaja bahunam vidhati kama. That one living being is providing, maintaining all other living beings. So our position is being maintained by God and God is maintainer. Our position is being predominated, and God is predominator. So in this material world, the living entity, those living entities who wanted to uh, become like God. So the human form of life is the opportunity to get out of the cycle of birth and death disease and old age, and this Krishna consciousness movement is meant for educating people in this great science. So we have published already about 20 books, 400 pages each, to elaborate the science of Krishna consciousness. So the scientists, the philosophers, they can also understand by reading our books. And there will be more books. There will